Okay, so what is once again up everybody on YouTube? This is Tubros Gaming HD and I'm basically coming straight at you with yet again another video right here from Farm Simulator 2019. And the reason why it does that is actually because it is every day, bro. I upload every single day on the channel right here. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. Just click the red button under this video. And without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and actually do a review of the new John Deere Cotton Harvester. It is a new John Deere Cotton DLC that has finally been here for the 2019 Farm Simulator. And um, this is on PS4 and it is available on PS4, Xbox One, PC, Mac. So you can go ahead and actually download wherever you want to download it. So that is indeed pretty cool. This John Deere right here, it is the John Deere CP690. It is one of John Deere's cotton harvesters right here and it is looking tremendous. It is really, really dope looking right here, the, the CP690, it, it really is. And you can see right here, actually I'm pretty happy to see that we finally got John Deere showing some, um, some courage and actually putting stuff into the game. That's really cool to see that Gen Deere finally comes with new content and stuff like that. And the package do contain seven items. The first Gen Deere right here, then it do contain this wagon right here, which is a module RP semi from uh, Lizard right here. You can actually put down the semi truck and then you can transport the, um, the cotton actually. So that's pretty cool. Then we have the cotton pickup, as I told you guys about yesterday from McCormack, right here. It can actually take up uh, three cotton bales, so that's pretty cool indeed. And then we have this right here, which is the module RB, which can also transport cotton, of course. And of course, we have this right here, which can actually go ahead and take one bale on the back of it. So that's pretty cool. If you want to put the bales together and stuff like that, you're going to use this right here. And the reason why it is actually built like this, like this soft close right here is because uh, you don't want to rule the plastic or ruin the plastic on the bales like with, with sharp things and stuff like that. Uh, and that is also the reason why this uh, bale uh, fork right here actually just goes around the bale and not into the bale. This bale fork though does go into the bale but it goes into like on the end of the bales, there's no plastic, so it doesn't kind of go into the plastic, so that's pretty cool. But these are actually the items that is uh, in the, the package, and that is seven items, and the package is $4.99. So, uh, yeah, I bought it as I told you guys yesterday that I probably wouldn't buy it, but I thought that we didn't have any other new mods today, so why not go ahead and actually buy this to, to get some new stuff right here today. So that is indeed what I did right here. So this is a DLC from John Deere and it does look quite cool uh, indeed. Um, I think actually the John Deere cotton harvester right here is bigger than the Case IH we do have uh, at the moment. I don't know, but... Uh, <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna take my uh, words back again. Actually, the Case IH is bigger. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna buy the case I hate so you can actually see that. Um, the case I hate have a capacity on 20,000 liters in the back of it, 10,000 liters, 20,000 liters of cotton in the back of it, where the Gen Deere, yeah, they look very the same, very much the same, where the Gen Deere actually only have like 10,000 in that uh, capacity right there. So that is the changes actually. Um, there's not that many other differences between these you can see right here if you go into this and take the stats the case i hates go with 415 horses under the hood 757 liters in fuel capacity 25 kilometers per hour 10 kilometers per hour when it is working and 20,000 liters in uh, capacity of wool or not wool but cotton and a working weight on six meters the gen deer though do you have a um <laughs> it has a uh, 590 horses under the hood. It has a 1401 liter capacity in the fuel, uh, 25 kilometers per hour and 10 kilometers in uh, working speed and only 10,000 liters. So the capacity on this is only the half of the Case IH 635. So that's a lot, that's actually a, quite a big difference I have to say. But um, 
without yeah i don't want to get that much into it but i just think that there is some some pretty uh pretty steep changes in or differences in the capacity of the different kind of uh yeah, what can you say, like machines and stuff like that. So that is definitely something that is worth pointing out when you talk about these. Otherwise than that, there's really not that much to say about it, uh, actually. Otherwise, that it, it is really cool to see Gen Deere finally getting out of their shelf and finally getting into the game. And you can also see right here, it looks like this. It looks, they, from, the, from the front, they look very similar to each other, but from the back, they don't really they don't really match that much as you can see right here they are long and pretty ugly but this right here looks like this looks more like a baler on the back uh, than the case IH does but the case IH is still a baler so yeah I don't, I don't know but I just have to point that out for you guys and uh, point out the differences so um, So um, yeah, it's like pretty cool to see the differences between these and so on. So if you go into the uh, the uh, the cabin right here or the house right here, you can see that it it pretty much uh, goes like this. And uh, then we have the GPS up there, and we have the yeah, watching the radio stuff like that. Um, and the RPM right there, you can see 2000 RPMs and stuff like that. So not that much of a difference. And you have the cockpit. It is, of course, a steering wheel and then the joystick right here to go forward and backwards to actually go um, where you want to go or high speed or something like that. So that's pretty cool indeed, too. So uh, that's like very genderish, uh, I have to say. If you go into the case, I think it's the same setup right here, uh, just with some other digital stuff actually but otherwise than that there's no changes from the case i h2 the john deere actually so that is also as it is and uh, it's pretty cool to to see these uh these differences i i have to say so so yeah indeed 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 pretty cool pretty freaking cool so uh, I don't know if you guys are actually, if you have bought this or if you're going to buy this. I don't know. But uh, please let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this this new DLC right here. Uh, is it something that you're going to buy? Is it something that you're just going to say like, okay, that's none of my business. I'm not going to use that. So I don't, I don't want to buy that. Um, so... Yeah, let me know in the comment section down on it. That would be pretty cool if you wanted to go ahead and do that, like for real. So, um, yeah, without further ado, guys, I think basically we're not going to go ahead and use this cotton harvester right here in this video. But I think definitely we're going to go ahead and do it like uh, in a video later today. So I, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to go ahead and upload another one later today, which I hopefully thing is okay with you uh, yeah i guess it's okay with you because um i guess that's why you're watching my channel to watch my content so yeah that's pretty dope uh, also i would like to say that if you're not yet a subscriber right here to the two Bros gaming hd channel you should definitely get ahead and click the red button under the video right here to be a subscriber because we only like we're only gonna post more throughout the days years and months and stuff like that so uh before you get into the game and before you subscribe to the channel, the better, and uh, then you're not gonna miss anything. Um, the semi trailer right here is uh, pretty cool and pretty big actually. I think that can actually contain up to, uh, I think it's 40, maybe 40, uh, maybe 40, no, <laughs> 40. <laughs> I don't know how much a bale actually contains, but this can contain four bales right here. Uh, I think a bale is actually 10,000 without without kind of like promising you too much, but I think a bale is 10,000 liters of cotton. So so that's pretty dope, I, I guess. Uh, and then we of course have the the ones that are set right here, which I'm also gonna go ahead and use in the upcoming videos. Uh, upcoming video, actually. So, uh, so yeah, I think that's basically gonna be it for this one right here. So I just wanna say thanks for coming through. Now I'm gonna go out to the grill. I'm gonna make some uh, it's not sausages, but burgers, actually. 
uh, some sliders is it called really like burgers we ate a lot of burgers when we were over there in the states so that's pretty cool but without further ado guys i'm gonna end this thanks for watching and thanks for coming through right here i'm gonna see the last nine kilometers of tour de france now and make some burgers and take a pepsi coke so we're gonna see you guys later bye guys